friends, it's Kristen from Southern Mom again, and today I have another back to school video for you guys, and I'm so excited to show you my backpack station and command center. Now you're only seeing a one little section of everything that I'm going to show you today. I have things over here and over there and over there, so I'm going to be turning my camera around quite a bit in this video to show you everything that I have here in this little area. one video of an entire series so if you want to see all of my back to school videos just check below or the I up above in the right hand corner of your screen and I have an entire playlist and I'll just continue building on to that playlist throughout the rest of the season and all back to school videos so I hope you're enjoying this series and if you are please give me a thumbs up below and I'd love to hear from you in the comments so I have three children, two little girls that are four years old, they're going into preschool, and my son is eight, and he is going into the third grade. We are a very busy family of five. And this year, I really wanted to make sure that we were really organized because the girls are going into preschool, I've got Braxton going into third grade. Okay, so let's go ahead and get going. So I wanted to start off by saying kind of what I feel that a command center is, just in case you aren't really sure what a command center is. It's basically a hub center of your house that everybody in the family can come to you to kind of see what's going on. So basically calendars and to-do items and things like that. Anybody at any time of the day or the month can come and see what's going on. Now throughout the years my system has changed. This is basically an area of my house that no guests or visitors ever come to. Well, I'm really excited because now I have every little space kind of uh, dedicated to something that has to do with keeping us all informed and organized and I'm really, really excited about that. Where you are right now, you're actually in my laundry room and to the right here is the garage door. When we do pull in every single day from work or wherever we're at, this is where we walk in. We walk in through our garage. We rarely ever go through the front door. So walking in through the garage, this is the first thing everybody sees. I have a lot of stuff I'm going to show you over here. There's a calendar over here and other things that you can't even see on the camera right now. Um, backpack station is over here. And I'll take the camera off in a little bit and kind of give you a 360 view of this little hallway area. So my recent Target Dollar Spot haul, I told you that I would have this calendar in an upcoming video and this is it. This is exactly where I decided to put the calendar. So previous to this calendar, I had a whiteboard calendar and it was fairly large, pretty much the same size here. And what I did is I took that calendar off and I did some touch up paint. I don't know if you can even see, but I had to touch up the paint because when I pulled it off, it ripped the paint off of this area here. I decided to try out the Dollar Spot calendar and I think it looks great. It's very colorful and I'm going to change this out each month. This is August. This is where I show the girls in Braxton. This is the month of August and tell them that it's August and we're going back to school very soon. This is also where I can show the days of the month, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you know, teaching the girls who are in preschool and just learning uh, the days of the week and the month. So that's why I felt it was really important to kind of use this more colorful and fun calendar here for the girls. If you want to see some of the other stuff I got at the Target Dollar Spot, I'll have a link below and also if you click the little eye above, you can look at all the fun stuff that I got at the Target Dollar Spot, but I plan on changing out the months here each month. So some of these are removable, this happy birthday and parent conferences, and I have the rest of them in a drawer over here that we'll go over here shortly. But so you can see the month of August is extremely busy and school doesn't even start until right here and that's just for Braxton the girls don't even start till the first we have a really busy month of August and school doesn't even start till the 24th but we have football on Tuesdays Thursdays Saturdays we have gymnastics and dance class on Wednesdays for the girls and then we have cheer on we have that on here 
then obviously school starting the 24th we have parent conferences and just a lot of crazy craziness but it's fun I'm so excited I love fall and I love going I don't go back to school but I just love the excitement and all the things that come with going back to school and all the fun activity I just love this time of year it's so much fun so and I think it's important for, for the parents even if you're not excited to at least act like you're excited because the kids once they see that you're excited then they'll be excited so um, my kids know that I'm really excited. I mean, they see me putting all this together and getting the calendar ready, and so that really gets them excited for preschool and elementary. See, hear them? They're excited. Okay, so to the left of the monthly calendar here, you'll see that I put a square shaped cork board on the wall and you can actually purchase these at Hobby Lobby and you'll see the other three on the other wall when I turn the camera around. But, um, so I put the cork board here and then in front of the cork board, what this is, it's really neat. Let me pull the whole thing out. I also got this at Hobby Lobby. So this reminds me of those adult coloring books that are real popular right now. You can see this one's just really plain black and white, but this one over here, Braxton colored for me. So that way the kids can get involved too. And Braxton had fun getting to color this and know that I'm gonna post it here on the wall. So each week you just write your to-do list and then it just tears off and then you just put it over here on the wall. And then the next week you have a new design and it's really fun for the kids to get to be involved if they, or if you like to color, it's a perfect opportunity. I have lots of friends that enjoy um, coloring and doing this kind of stuff. I do too, as long as I have enough time. Anyway, so that's a lot of fun. I have tentative schedule for August 8th. I have some uh, lists of things that I'm gonna be doing that week. So this functions similar to a whiteboard and it's just a little fancier and I've had this for a long time honestly I don't remember where I got it but I probably got it at Hobby Lobby but I'm not sure I've used it for several things throughout the years I've used it at birthday parties and things like that but one of my favorite things to do and that I've used it for in the past and I want to continue to use it for is to write scripture on for each week. I thought that this scripture would be perfect for the kids going back to school this month. And what it says is, start children off on the way they should go, and even when they are old, they will not turn from it. Proverbs 22, six. This is one of my favorite things over here. Okay, I'm thinking I got this at Hobby Lobby last year, including the binder clips. So I have quite a bit of little gold binder clips. And then these are just little to-do uh, sticky notes. Next up, as some of you already know, I have a Kiki K planner and this is what I use on a weekly basis to keep me organized. And let me know in the comments below if you want me to go through. I have a lot of custom items like I made this out of a Target card. Quite a bit of stuff in here. So let me know below if you want me to go through my planner at any time. If you want to see a planning video for back to school, I can definitely show you all of my scheduling items, including my planner. Okay, so some of the items that I have in this drawer. So the first thing I have in here are some thumbtacks I got at Walmart. And um, just for the cork boards and posting any of the different notes and items that I post on the cork board. So if you have little ones in school, you know that pretty often you're needing to send some money for either field trips, bake sales, or whatever it may be. And they always ask that you use them in Ziploc bags. So I just have a few over here so that I know I won't run out in my other drawer that has Ziploc bags. So they'll be right here by our lunch station which I haven't even showed you yet, but up above here is where I have the lunch boxes and all of the other lunch box items stored. So that's why I have these really close. Also, I have some paper clips because a lot of times when I'm sending some papers back to school with Braxton, I um, can just use these little uh, paper clips to clip the papers back together. These are just some more of the cards to use on the Target Dollar Spot monthly calendar that I just showed you a few minutes ago. These are just the little sticky squares that I use to hang some of the items that are in here. 
And here's some bigger sticky little items that I use to hang things with. And then these are also from the Target Dollar Spot. These are just weekly short to-do lists. I mean, and when I mean short, just two little items here. But they also have a magnet in the back so I can hang them on the magnet board or the refrigerator. So for just the most important items that I have going on throughout the week, I just write them here and then I can put the paper in my purse or in my planner and I'm good to go. I also have the little chalk here that I'll be showing you in a minute. I still have so much more to show you all, so hang in there. This is going to be a, a long video, but lots to show you. Okay, and so the top drawer, I just have some small little to-do sticky notes. These are also good for lunch notes. I have some clear tape and a stapler. I also have some Target Dollar Spot binder clips that say to do, later, ignore one of these little clothes pins and I'll show you what I did with the other three. This came in a four pack and I'll show you what I did with the other three that's really neat. Some washi tape, some of my liquid chalk markers over here. So another item that I picked up at the Target dollar spot was this twine with colored clothes pins. Thank you again for the viewer that helped me remember that these are called clothes pins because I, I obviously had a mom moment and completely blanked out on my Target Dollar Spot haul and could not remember that these were closed pins. So thank you again for helping me out with that. What I plan to use these for is just any little thing that I need, like coupons. If I'm going, like you see here on Monday, I'm gonna go to get groceries. And so I have maybe some coupons that I wanna use that day. And also, like I said, right above here is a cabinet and I can just pull down my coupons and for example, I have on here ice cream. On Friday, we're gonna have an ice cream day with the kids, and so I can just open my coupon book here and just clip it on here so that I know on Friday when I go for ice cream with the kids, I can just take it off of this little clothespin here and stick it in my purse and we'll be good to go for the week. Okay, so I've moved the camera around a little bit and now you're in my kitchen and I'm in front of my garage door. So I'm just kind of reenacting what I'm envisioning when we come through the door each day at the end of the day and the kids have their lunch bags or <laughs> their lunch boxes and their backpacks. And by the way, I got these at Pottery Marn Kids and I have a whole review on them. The girls are both have picked out their own little backpack and lunch box and I'll have the description below that will have the link to the whole playlist of back to school and this is one of them if you want to see a little bit more about what we chose for their backpack and their lunch boxes. Like I said this is the first year that the girls are going to preschool so I went ahead and added a little area in this hallway for them to hang their backpacks but I just kind of wanted to show you what I'm envisioning when they walk through the garage door every day. So first off they've got their lunch boxes and I'd like for them to put them over here in this area and then I'll take care of it from there. And then their backpacks will go right here. And I'll show you in a minute their little backpack station. So we're gonna stick with the lunch station right now and I'm gonna kinda show you what I'm envisioning happening when they come in with their lunch boxes. So like I said, every day I'll have three lunch boxes and Last year, I made Braxton his lunch every single day, and with the girls, I'll be making their lunches as well, so they'll definitely help me feel more organized, and the more organized you are, obviously you know that gives you more time with your kids. You can see here, what I plan to do is take their thermoses out, and that's where this sink right here comes in handy. Thermoses, we'll rinse them out right here. Oh. The girls have found their lunch boxes, so recently they've been putting little toys and things like that, so they're excited for school to start. So we can just imagine that there's plasticware and things that are gonna need to be cleaned and rinsed out, so anything that we would keep would go in the sink and anything that needs to go in the trash can, trash can's right here. I'll have another video where I go over specifically just lunches and I'll go over everything I have up here in this cabinet area. So that's the system I have set in place for the lunch boxes. Now let's move on to the backpacks. Okay, so now we're at the backpack station and I'm really excited about this. I think this is really gonna be 
helpful with organizing all of their paperwork and their backpacks. This has actually been here for a little over a year, but I was using it for bills. So the labels here are actually chalkboard labels, and all I did was erase what was there previously for mail. Pretty sure I bought this at Target last year. This is the chalk marker. I had a lot of problems with getting it off of these little labels. If you have an issue with removing the chalk markers from your labels, all you need to do is get a magic eraser and squirt a little bit of Windex or window cleaner. It'll come right off. But this is the area where the kids are gonna hang their backpacks and their little coats. But right now, you know, it's summer, and so I just used an example for the girls' little vests. But this little system here I purchased at Hobby Lobby, and it basically has two hooks. A larger hook here at the very top, and that's what I'm gonna use to hang their, their coats on. And then the smaller hook at the bottom is for their backpacks. You may use the top hook for their lunch boxes as well especially during the season where they're not wearing coats. I can always just hang their lunch boxes once they're ready. They have a huge variety of different um, number of hooks that are together. Uh, also, you can use hooks like these. And these I have all over the house. I have them in my closet for necklaces and scarves. There, you can use them for towels. There's so many different things that you can use these for. So how I'm planning on using this system here and I'll use Braxton's backpack as an example. So when Braxton comes home each day he always has a folder or two or three that have paperwork that either need to be signed and returned or paperwork that we're going to keep. I will open his folder. So these are his sight words for the year. So obviously that's something that he's going to need throughout the rest of the semester. So just temporarily because you're in a hurry when you're getting home you're you've got a million things going on so this is just temporary it's not forever so i'm putting this in the keep right here and then oh this is the form i'm going to need to sign and return so anything that needs to be signed and returned i'm going to place it up here and i want to face it up so i can see that there's something in there i don't want to face it sideways because then i may not see that there's anything up at the top. So I'm going to make sure that it's facing up and that I can see that there's something that needs to be signed and returned. For just when we get home, I want to go through all of their folders and go ahead and sort everything accordingly. Homework as well, that's something that they're going to need to complete and then return. So that was going to go here at the top as well. So homework and any paperwork that needs to be signed is going to go at the top. And then anything that we just keep will go in the keep folder. And then later on is when I can pull them out and sort them in my binder. I have a box where I keep a lot of Braxton's schoolwork to look back on in the future and I'll get into that in more detail in another video. So backpacks here, keep, sign. Now let's move on to the next station. Okay, so I've turned my camera one more time. The kitchen is behind me and you are in my garage door looking this way. And so as soon as I walk in through the garage door, we have a magnetic board here that has the calendar on here. Now, my intentions are for August and I haven't put together a meal plan is to do my meal planning here. I haven't done that yet. So since I already have the large calendar over on this side, I plan on putting my meal planning here and I may put some other things too. I got this at Hobby Lobby. I buy so many things at Hobby Lobby. I love Hobby Lobby. So I bought this there, fairly reasonable. I don't remember exactly, maybe $6, something like that. So these clothespins I bought in a four pack at the Target dollar spot, and they're actually chalkboard. So I haven't written anything on them, but I could use my little chalkboard markers and write on here. You can use any kind of clothespin. Now basically what I did is those small square stickers that I showed you that were in the drawer over there, I stuck them to the back of these clothespins and I just utilized the space I had over here and um, just kind of stuck some random things on here. So an example of what I would put here on the clothespin, Braxton at Christmas time got this little Christmas coupon book from his teacher. Now this was something that needed to be out all the time because there's coupons in here that he could use throughout the year. He had like a homework pass, good for one assignment, bring a buddy to school so he could bring his one of his stuffed animals, 
Hattastic. He could wear his favorite hat to class. So you can see here, this would be something that he could use throughout the year. Obviously, I didn't have the system in place, so this got lost in, I don't even know where I found this, but I thought, huh, he didn't even use any of these coupons, and obviously he didn't miss them, but this could have been something that would have been perfect right here if I would have had this system in place last year. We wouldn't have forgot that these coupons even existed, so he could have got to wear his Texas Rangers cap one day or whatever cap he wanted to wear to school he could have used his coupon and he would have been able to do that but it got lost in the shuffle of all the paperwork that comes home so another example of why having a little system like this in place can be helpful for you this is just a picture of him vote Brax and he was running for class president last year during that time of year it would be something just we would walk in and it would just be a good reminder to him that you know he was running for class president and he would see that every day as he would walk through the door another example of something you could put on the clothes pins i just stuck a dollar here what i plan on doing is keeping a few dollars here every day so that i don't have to worry when i get a note home and he needs some money for field trip or book money or whatever it may be it just seems like all the time during the year he needs cash occasionally we'll get thank you notes to um, the whole family and maybe only i'm reading it so i would put it here so that when rudy walked through the door he would be able to see it and read it and then i could toss it or keep it if, it, if you want it to be a keepsake. This was actually a little note from the principal to Braxton, award that he got for honor roll student. It's a coupon for some donuts. Half of the stuff I'm showing you is just examples of things that I have from last year that I'm just using as examples and what I plan to do this next year. This is actually Braxton's school schedule. We've already registered him for third grade and this is just his schedule. So this is current here and it lets us know what classes he's taking, who his teachers are. And so that's what this is. This now is an example. You can see here it says March 21st. So this is every single week we get an update of what's going on in school. Having this right here is perfect because I can look here and see, okay, March 18th, progress reports, and then go write it on the calendar. March 21st, field trip to enter, you know, to the caverns. March 21st, UIL awards banquet. So I can just go down this list here, write it over here in our monthly calendar. Over here, they usually have some little reminders. So this bottom section here is what they're actually learning in all of their classes for the next week. So I usually get this on a Friday and it's preparing you for the following week. So that's really nice. So I already know the Friday before what's going on in reading, language, math, science, social studies for the following week. I try to review some of this here at the house with Braxton. And then lastly down here, I have another cork board down below. I have like a field trip form. So any additional forms of things that are gonna be happening, I've just got it down here on the cork board. Now I know it seems like I have a lot of stuff in a small space and I am not one to like clutter, but like I said, this is really the only area that I have in my house. So, you know, whatever works for you, just let it go. And for me, I feel like this will at least just help me be less stressed throughout the school year. So it does seem like there's a lot here in this area, but I think it's gonna be very helpful for me throughout the year. One last thing that has been here for since we moved in here that this came from my previous house even is this organization here for well we use it for keys but I'm pretty sure I probably got this at Hobby Lobby and it has three little hooks and we just use it for keys and things like that sunglasses so when we come in or out we sometimes they stay in my purse but occasionally we hang them right here so we have this little picture here and it says bless our home with love and laughter i just love this saying and i just i truly do feel blessed i feel blessed to have this home and i feel blessed to have such a sweet little family and such great friends and i and you guys i thank you so much for being subscribed to my channel okay the last thing i wanted to show you is where the kids put their shoes every day when they come in we call this the peacock table it looks like the feathers of a peacock and we actually purchased this at I think it was Pier 1. I have a video around 
November, December-ish of last year when I purchased this, if you wanna see that video. And I'll link that down below. So shortly after we purchased this, because I wanted to make sure I had a piece that fit right here in the nook between the stairs and the wall here. And our previous house didn't have this area, so we had to purchase a piece that would fit specifically for this area. It was a perfect place to go ahead and put their shoes because there's a coat closet over here and then shoes right here. So you can see it's a little worn down here, but I'm using wicker. I don't recommend wicker for shoes. I'll probably eventually have to, th these two aren't that bad, but this one's gotten pretty beat up with the, the shoes that are in here. But Fallon's are over here, Braxton shoes are here, and then Presley's are in here. And these are just the ones that they wear primarily each day. Oh, you can see this is Braxton's cleats. They're pretty dirty. So like the girls dance shoes and all that kind of stuff, that's up in their closet. But the shoes, like little sandals and things that they wear pretty much on a daily basis. If I'm in a hurry and I say, let's go, they don't have to run upstairs to their rooms to grab any shoes they already have these right here and I pulled them out a little bit but you see how far they push in so when you're standing here you can't even tell that there are shoes in there I just pulled them out for you to see so it's kind of like a little hidden storage area that we have here at the house okay so that is it for today's video I hope you enjoyed watching my backpack station and command center video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up below and I still have a lot more planned for back to school, but if you have anything in particular that you'd like to see me film, let me know in the comments below. I'm always open to suggestions and if there's something that you have a question about or you'd like to see me make a video on, let me know down below. If you are a parent or a grandparent or a relative or a friend and you have little ones that are going off to school this year, I hope your little one has an amazing school year. I know several of y'all out there already have kids that have already started school, which is just mind boggling. I can't believe there's already kids that are in school. Mine, like I said, start the 24th and the 1st. So it'll be here before you know it. It's crazy how fast summer has gone by. But like I said, I'm excited and there's so much coming up. For fall and I'm so excited to share all of this with you. Thanks again for watching and have a blessed day. Mwah.